Hey there, high flyers and super manifestors. Today, we're going to share four easy ways to transform limiting beliefs to unlimiting beliefs. You know, when you have limiting beliefs, they can stop you from the money you desire, the love you crave and the health you depend upon, but no more limiting beliefs. Today, we change all that. Hi there, everyone. Robert Zink, miracle mentor and alchemy life coach. And today we are soaring high, like a big, beautiful Eagle flying in the direction of your dreams and your goals. So we're talking about your energy field because your energy field is how you match up to the infinite field of potential through your subconscious mind. And when you have beliefs that are limiting now, understand we all have limiting beliefs. I pretty much believe that walking off of a cliff is not a good idea for me. And that having any kind of an unlimited belief about that doesn't work for me. Okay. So that's a, that's a chosen, but you see the difference is, is that I have chosen that limiting belief. Most of our limiting beliefs are not beliefs that we have chosen. They're beliefs that have been imposed upon us or they're beliefs that we've developed over time through bad experiences. Remember only about 8% of your, of your mind, of your total mind is conscious. The rest about 92 to 95% is subconscious. When we manifest something that we truly desire, when we bring into physical manifestation, a new home, a new car, an incredible relationship, when that happens, it's because we have changed our subconscious beliefs. Now high flyers, Keep this in mind. It's easy to change conscious beliefs. You go to a seminar and the speaker up there gets you all pumped up. I mean, you just feel like, wow, your conscious beliefs have changed, but then you go home and you try to implement what you've learned in the seminar and it doesn't work. And the reason is, is you have these limiting beliefs in your subconscious mind. So changing conscious beliefs, they're easy. Subconscious beliefs, uh, takes a little bit more work to change subconscious beliefs. Now, Gerald Saltman says that 95% of thought, emotion, and learning occurs in the unconscious mind that is without our awareness. He's from Harvard business school. So keep this in mind, much of what you learn about manifesting, you learn unconsciously without even, without even being aware of it. And what happens is it's working against you. It's slapping you down. Every time you start to make more money, it slaps you down. Every time your relationship starts to get better, it slaps you down because it's an unconscious belief in your subconscious mind and it reflects vibrationally your beliefs to the infinite field of potential or the universe. And that's what the universe matches back to you. You're not even aware of how you are stopping yourself from manifesting what you truly desire. Most people are not even aware. So high flyers, I believe that reprogramming your subconscious mind is essential. It's the absolute key. It's one of the uh, reasons that we have opened up a new website called miracle hypnosis online, miracle hypnosis online. And we are creating special hypnotic programs uh, that are absolutely phenomenal miracle hypnosis programs 
that work with special music, special tones, special vibrations, and each one is designed to work on a specific area of your life. But aside from that, aside from that, there are some big things that you can do. You can begin reprogramming your subconscious mind right now. Here are the four steps you can take. I think it's going to make a huge difference in your life. Challenge. Number one, challenge, challenge, challenge your limiting beliefs, fears, and doubts. You need to write them down. You need to put them in a book. You need to look at them and actually see them and say, wow, I do have a fear of making money. I do have a fear of getting in over my head. I do have a fear of commitment. I do have a fear of being successful. You need to physically write them down. Look at when I was living near, nearly on the streets, I was in a weekly hotel room. I went to a drug store. I had about $10 on me. And out of the 10, I spent three and I bought a little gold book there. It was just empty pages inside. And I wrote down my fears. I wrote down my doubts about my life, how it had sunk so low, what I had done, what fears brought me to that low ebb in my life. And then every single day I would open that little book usually riding on the bus. And I looked like a crazy man, I'm sure. But I would argue, I would argue like a lawyer against those limiting beliefs. Now, sometimes I would just do it in my head. If I was out in public, in a restaurant, having a cup of coffee, I would just do it in my mind. If I was in my hotel room, I would argue aloud. And I think that's important that you make it imperative that you don't agree that these are false beliefs, that these are false limitations. And then I would write an affirmation, an affirmation based on winning the argument, winning the debate. And the affirmation would challenge the limiting belief. Say my limiting belief was a fear of success. My new affirmation might go something like, I am successful and I enjoy each and every moment of it. And I would do that affirmation until my ears bleed. No, I'm just kidding you. They didn't bleed. My eyes didn't bleed either, but you almost felt like you were doing it so much that you were bleeding out of your eyes or something, you know? You can't do an affirmation. You can't change your subconscious mind with one or two times doing an affirmation. It takes thousands of times and you have to emotionalize it and you have to visualize a positive outcome. You have to be dedicated to winning. This is a battle. You're in a battle An old, tired, negative thoughts want to keep you down. Or you can choose to win this battle, debate those thoughts and come up with powerful I am affirmations that will help you. Well, number two on my list was, and I did this as well. I urge you to do it. I still do it today. Visualize, 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 see yourself doing what you don't like to do. See yourself taking on challenges that you thought were too big. See yourself winning, achieving, attracting, feeling, experiencing. And if a negative thought comes into my mind, I always turn it to black and white and just move it further away. It's an NLP technique. I just make it black and white, move it away. And all the positive things that I intend to attract in my life, I see as bright, vivid colors. Well, high flyers focus on I am energy, focus on God force energy, working through your energy field. Look at it. You're not just created in the image of God. God exists within you. The power of the unlimited 
is within you. You are a timeless being having a physical experience and you have the I am energy or force within you. So when you are looking to change limiting beliefs to unlimited beliefs, you start using I am sentences. I am powerful. I am strong. I am wealthy. I am happy. I am abundant. I'm feeling good. I'm feeling, oh yeah, I am feeling good. That's a great one. That's a great one because you can choose to feel good under any circumstance. I am sentences and write them down, say them, print them up, put them in your shower, say them every morning. After you get up, when you're scrubbing yourself up, look at your I am affirmations. And finally, change your body posture. Hmm. This is hugely important because so much of our energy vibration is contained, not just within our thoughts and our subconscious mind, but as Wilhelm Reich said, within our, within our muscular armoring and our body posture. So I urge you to take on some stretching, some yoga, uh, swimming is good. This will all help change uh, your hormones. It'll help you stretch out a little bit, light weight lifting. I'm going to recommend a book called betrayal of the body, betrayal of the body by Dr. Alexander Lowen. I highly recommend you learn to do bioenergetics. So get that book, do power poses every day and just automatically adopt and believe and accept that you are an unlimited human being, that you have a mission and purpose to this life. Your life is so important. You have a destiny and you need this new power. You need this new confidence in order to achieve your destiny, to make it to the top of the mountain. You know, it's so much nicer at the top of the mountain because when you're at the top of the mountain, everything below you is yours. But when you're at the bottom of the mountain, the only thing that's yours is what's under your feet, so to speak. Okay. There you have it. Hope that helps you share your thoughts and comments down below. Have a great day because you absolutely deserve it. Bye-bye. <music>